I have been uh, married to a man who is going to Mazar and believes in valleys and peers but I do not do that so I am married I don't know what to do Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh this is very un unfortunate condition when the things comes up because it's really a uh, fault of the parents who make their daughter uh, married to a person who is into the peer and they're going to the mother and they b believe on something uh, not doing the suburb and things like that which is forbidden in Islam but rather stick to the main uh, sunnah and the teachings of the Prophet so what is the condition of the of the woman who is being married to a person like that so now what she has to do so she, she has to uh actually uh talk to the local imam and she has to talk to the right person where they can sit down and uh, talk to uh talk to the husband and explain them what is islam and islam. because uh, if she is falling uh, more than 75 percent of it If she is following the almost like a uh, Quran and the Sahih Hadith and he is off the track and he is following some other peers and Imams and some other uh, peers and uh, that is something like uh, 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 she is following the most of the Islam like a uh, Quran and Sahih Hadith and he is less than a 50% so he is a Muslim and the shirk he is doing he is doing a shirk and he is also at the Muslim at the same time so it's like a 50 50 50 and that's like a 50 percent Muslim and 50 percent as a non-Muslim so that's what um, is the meaning going to the Mazar and all that he is not a Muslim because the Muslim is the one who just totally rely on Allah so what is the situation when the husband and wife has a relationship like that she has uh, because this the relationship does not get along for a long time and it gets uh, separated so it's better to she, she can make her own decision what to do she can leave him and find if he does not understand so it is better for her to to find another husband who is more into nakida because because for an example if someone who is going to the jahannam you are holding a hand of the person who is going to the jahannam but rather you have to remove yourself you are living with the person who is doing a shirk but rather save your life and find somebody else maybe allah will find you more better who is with the better in akida but you don't want to go to uh, stick to the person and you're going to get a jahannam uh, with that person because this marriage it does not stay for like time because one is the one who has a pure akida and the one who is a person muslim the 50 percent he is going to the grave so he's like a normal he is like a muslim and a non-muslim he's like a mix with both the one person even on a husband and a wife who is like uh, a pure following the quran and who stick to the sahih hadith and they're following the right proper teachings of the sunnah so she he or she is on the right track but the one person who is on the uh, believing on something of uh, wazifas believing on peers and believe on some rukiyas and following their own imams following his own maulanas that is being that he that person is uh, misguided so uh, he or she has the choice to leave the husband or the wife and go to find somebody uh, to find someone else because if someone going into uh, the jahannam maybe somebody was holding a hand and not leaving that person is gonna cause that person to go into the jahannam also